Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Director of Five here. No, I ain't dead. I just haven't been posting a lot because I really haven't been finding much to play. You know, Black Ops is terrible and boring. I don't feel like playing much of anything else. But uh, today, I'll bring you guys a video. You know, just talking about what I would like to see in Uncharted 4 multiple. You know, it hasn't been confirmed that there's going to be one, but you know, I'm pretty. They're pretty sure there is going to be another one, another Uncharted. You know, with the popularity of the franchise and all that stuff. You know, I just wanted to talk about some of the uh, changes I wanted to see in the uh, the multiplayer for Uncharted 4 because a lot of things in Uncharted 3's multiplayer pissed me off, as you probably already know. <laughs> but first of all, you know, I just want to start with like going back to like the I just wish they would go back to the, the basic un the way Uncharted was. You know, like how everyone started out with an AK is how to run around, pick up your weapons, and all that stuff. Because in the like the rare, I mean rare, few times I actually play Uncharted, I don't even bother with the normal. Team Deathmatch or anything. All I, all I ever play on that game anymore is, is classic. Like that. That's all I can play anymore. Just to get away from like at least half the bullshit of that game. Of the game. Just play uh, classic. You know. At least then you don't have to worry about loadouts and power plays and all that stuff. Another thing I want to talk about is of course the power plays. Naughty Dog. Listen, please, please, for the love of every gaming god out there, get just get rid of the power plays. I try to for no one likes these things well except the scrubs the scrubs and the noobs they love the power plays but the the hardcore gamers know they just get rid of the power plays i cannot tell you i have lost games because of the power plays in that in that game double damage like the or yeah either double damage or um it was of a marked man I've lost games because of that i i remember there was games we, we were clearly winning we should have won but like the the power plays would kick in, and then all of a sudden, then, you, the, then the other team would get brave. They were camping the whole match. Then the power plays come on. Then they get fucking brave when they come out and start meleeing and shooting. It's, it's, it's retarded. It's retarded. Just, just completely, just scrap the power plays. No, no one but the scrubs like them. Just get completely rid of them. Another thing is they should get uh, uh, adjusting some of the boosters, and they need, really need to tweak some of the boosters because a lot of the boosters in this game are annoying as shit. Like revenge. Don't know why they brought that back. No one wanted it in Uncharted 2 in the first place. Don't know who wanted it back in Uncharted 3. Don't know why they brought it back, but excuse me. But they just need to get rid of revenge. Just get rid of it. Another thing they need to get rid of. Well, it's not really a booster, but it's like an attachment. It's the rate of fire thing on the uh, on the guns. You know, like the M9 or whatever. The M9 and whatever other gun had rapid fire. Doesn't need rapid fire. I, it was incredible how fast you die with rapid fire on your guns. It made no sense. Just get rid of rapid rate of fire, whatever it was called. Don't need it. Just outshoot someone like normal. Another thing is, which I really wish they get rid of fleet foot. In all honesty, you don't need fleet foot because, like, I remember that fleet foot on a chart three first came out. Fleet foot was like the first um, booster I got gold, and then when I legacy, I had I didn't have it, and I was like struggling with it at first. I was like, I really need flea food, but then after a while, I just got used to it. Like, I've uh, you can out shoot people without uh, you when you're not using flea food, you can out shoot people who have it fairly easy as long as you like strafe or do you know the shoulder switch thing that I usually do. And all honestly, you don't really need flea food, so if they got rid of it in Uncharted 4, which I hope they do, that it won't bother me. I'm so used to playing without it, you really don't even need it, honestly. It's a crutch, son. A crutch. <laughs> also, they need to fix the lag. For the love of God, please, Naughty Dog, fix the freaking lag. <laughs> I, I can't tell you how many times I've died around corners or in the cover. I, I've gone behind cover, clearly where the guy cannot even shoot me and I still die. Or that thing where, like, when you're running and you push circle to go into cover and your character slides. He slides. He does a full animation where he slides into cover and gets up against it. Second later, he just dies randomly. The rage, my God, the fucking rage. Another thing that you fix is the matchmaking. The, I, the the matchmaking in this game is stupid. When you're playing by yourself half the time, you get put up against a party of like four or five legacy people. Like really? What? Come on, Naughty Dog. They, and then when you're playing in a full party, you get matched up against scrub the noobs sometimes. It's like really. I always, like, is it that hard to program a matchmaking system in an online video game? It's like, 
it seems like every game you're playing by yourself, even like Call of Duty, right? It pre like any game with multiplayer, it seems like when you're playing by yourself, that's when you go up against parties. But then when you're playing at a party of your own, you go up against people playing by yourself, or the most in a party is like two or three. Like why? <laughs> I can't figure. I can never figure that out. You think that you know when you're in a party, you go up against other parties. Like is, is matchmaking that hard to fix in a video game? And the uh, next thing you kind of go along matchmaking is the party system. I don't know what's taking them so long. They still haven't fixed it. Is the party in this game? I try to play in a party with people. It'll either randomly kick the person or it'll put them on the other team. I don't know why it does this. It's just it just has. I don't know. They still haven't fixed that. I don't think it's just you're playing in a party of five. The person will either get randomly kicked out or um. Or put them on the other team. Like I've had games before where either it was either me or someone else I was playing with. Like I'd be sitting here in the the uh, lobby waiting for the game to start, and they're already in the game playing. And I'm sitting in the lobby waiting for it to start because it randomly kicks me somehow for no known reason. Don't know why it does that. And then another thing they need to fix really is the melee system. The two hit melee system in this game is not worth it. It's not. It's not worth it. Noobs will be noobs and do anything in their power to hit you. I, I'm not lying. I have seen dudes run across the entire map going on treks, journeys, adventures, climbing mountains, going over hills and shit, running at full speed just to hit you with their gun. Why shoot a gun in this game? Apparently to these people shooting is completely irrelevant or something because people will run across the map just to try to mail you twice. I mean half the time when I was playing this game I had to like get up and look at the front box cover just to see what game I was playing because people would melee so much in this game. Half the time if I was playing a completely different game I had to like get the front cover of the game and look to see what I was playing. I thought I was playing an Unconscious 3 Drake's title fight sometimes like honestly. The people just melee far too often in that game. And the, what the way this game is, it works about half the time, especially when it first came out. Like, when the game first came out before the patches and stuff, melee, but there was no, there was almost no point in shooting a gun in this game. The melee would destroy you for aiming in. And even though they did fix that, it still happens sometimes, and it's annoying. So they really need to make the melee, I would say three or four hits would be, would be the... Um, suffice to fix the problem of people just wanting to melee you running down hallways with a fully loaded gun in your hand just to hit them with it like what really and uh, they need to fix the blind firing again like they already nerfed it from before I don't know why they changed it the blind firing in Charter 2 was fine you know there was you get those people that would like try to blind fire you in Uncharted 2 but like it it didn't it wasn't as effective as it was in Uncharted 3. I have no idea what they did over there in Naughty Dog, but they did something to the blind fire to where it... I remember one time I was testing, I wanted to test out to see how good the blind fire is. This dude was like climbing up a wall. I didn't even pan my camera to look at him. I just sat there shooting in the direction of the... Uh, I can't even talk. I was sitting there shooting just at the face of the wall. I didn't even pan my camera up to look at the guy while he was still climbing. I literally saw the bullets curve upwards into his body when he was up on the wall and I was just standing there shooting. They fixed it since then, but it's still a problem in this game how stupid the melee is. They need to like go back to the Uncharted 2's melee system for bonfire. And then some more of the boosters they need to remove are quick boom. I use it sometimes, but it... I could do good even without it, like, I just use it because it's funny to blow shit up sometimes, but in all honesty, they could get rid of it and I'd be happy, like, you really don't even need quick boom in this game, you can still get kills and stuff easily without it, I just use it because it's funny to get, like, those five not lives and all that stuff with it, but you can do that even without quick boom, and, um, oh yeah, the some of the other boosters, I can't remember exactly how many, but I think there's, like, five boosters in this game that all help people help people see you through walls and stuff. This is the one where like you die two or three times. It's like come here, let me see ones where you die two or three times. It basically let people see you through walls. I think I think there's like four or five boosters related to this. Like why would you want something in the game where you can see the other person through a wall because they've died two times in a row? That doesn't encourage you to get better. That doesn't encourage you to sit there and die so you can see where half the other well like half the other team is at and then just camp and shoot them. 
And then another thing I needed to get rid of is pay boosters. I never used pay boosters in the, in the retail game. Like, when the retail game dropped, they had pay boosters still, but I never bought one of them. There really is no need for them. I haven't used a paid booster in Uncharted 3 since the June-July beta. Like, that was the last time I ever bought a, uh, uh, any of the paid boosters. This is like a waste of money, honestly. And one of the paid boosters, of course, paying, which lets you see people through. Why would you, why would you let people buy that? I think it's constant, too. If I remember right, I think you can constantly see people. I'm not sure. It's been forever since I've, like, tried it out. But it, why would you let people see them through the, like, walls and stuff? Got you. <clears throat> what kind of cheap shit is that? Yeah, really? Like, just just to get rid... Get, just for me to get away from, like, half the stupid stuff that happens on Uncharted, I just play Classic, which... I honestly wish Uncharted 4 would, like, go back to just, you know, how Uncharted 2 was. You know, just copy and paste Uncharted 2. is like, change things about it, but don't make stupid boosters, like, where you can see people through walls and, and power plays. I still don't know why they thought power plays would be a good idea. I don't know. But, yeah, that's about all I can remember of the things I hate about Uncharted 3 and what was wrong with it. There may be more that I've just forgotten that I can't remember right now, but if there is, just leave a comment down in the description of what you guys think. But I'm Sonic35 and I'm out. Please don't forget to write and comment and subscribe. Peace.